Coming up in May, town meeting will tackle a citizen's petition aimed at scaling down the size of new constructions within the single residence B zoning district. Now, if approved, the calculation of total square footage would include spaces in attics and basements that measure five feet or higher. Residents are divided on the matter, sparking a debate at the planning board hearing on April 2nd. Let's turn to municipal producer Yu Xiaoyuan for the details. During the hearing, petitioner Joe Matthews, participating via Zoom, presented before and after photos demonstrating how homes were demolished to make way for significantly larger houses. He also showcased the interior photos from Zillow to illustrate how attics and basements of new homes are utilized as livable space, a stark contrast to 2017 when the current regulations were established to exclude these areas from total square footage calculations. This is probably what caught a lot of people maybe off guard. They didn't understand back in 2017 because a lot of long-term residents, their basements don't look like this. Supporters of the petition lamented the adverse impact of larger houses, attributing them to altering the neighborhood character and exacerbating stormwater capacity issues stemming from extensive tree removal. I am disgusted with the size of houses that are being built around town. It feels, looks as though they're 10 feet from the property line in every direction. You can see the water during storms just flying down, just flying down the street because they no longer has anywhere to go. Others express dismay over the disappearance of starter homes. They're more affordable homes. They're at a price point that some people could actually afford to move into this town. However, equal concerns arose regarding the potential ramifications of this change, such as its impact on private property rights. These are the owners that, who have maintained their homes, been good neighbors, an integral part of our community, and are the last ones who we should be want to impact by lessening their property options and their financial nest eggs. Local real estate agent Bill Paulson noted demand has shifted post-pandemic, highlighting the need for more space to accommodate remote work. There's general living spaces requirements that weren't there before that we need to think about. He also observed many starter homes fail to meet modern functional needs. I have four projects going on right now, and two of them, three of them went on MLS, and two of them were just functionally obsolete. They were just, the, the floor plan just could not work for anybody. Nobody wanted that floor plan. It was one and a half stories and funny shapes and low ceilings, and it was just not right for any family. So they ended up going to a, a builder. Another one, I thought it should have gone to a family. It was a one-story ranch, and, and I thought it would be perfect downsizer, but nobody bought it, so a builder bought it. So there, it's not always the case that the house is, should be saved for the you know, prototypical first-time home buyer. Recognizing the complexity of the issue, many residents underscored the importance of conducting a comprehensive study, taking various factors into account. I do believe that this should be referred back to the planning board. We have to have a robust community conversation about an issue of this magnitude. The planning board will vote on their recommendation to town meeting at its April 24th meeting. For Needham Channel News, I'm Yu Xiaoyuan.